Good morning, folks. Before we get into today's run, tonight we're going to have that special video on Earth's catastrophe cycle. You won't want to miss it. Right now, we're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find the last day on the sun was pretty quiet. There really aren't any large plasma filaments readying to erupt. The coronal hole is turning out on the south. We haven't had much in the way of flaring either. Despite the umbral magnetic fields on the north, the regions are lacking complex sunspots beneath them today. A quick look at the solar wind has a minor clip of a coronal hole stream-like enhancement a few hours ago, but with minor geomagnetic effects only, and the plasma stream speed does not appear to be being maintained. Folks, it's going to be a day chock full of climate news. This week, we saw Canada approve the national carbon tax. Leader up there is truly a doe. Do you remember that Time article that was basically like, yeah, we did a whole bunch of shady things, but we did it for you. Welcome to the out-in-the-open climate cabal version of that presented as a proposition. Acceleration is the word to use regarding the climate lunacy in the world today. The subtitle is just so academically offensive. Let me go ahead and scratch out this part here, and then we'll add in the words that should be there and your welcome nature fixed it for you. We begin our weekly run through the climate saga at IMERC failing to stack up to another rain model in comparison, but the problem is that that other model can sometimes show rain in utterly dry conditions due to bad soil moisture product stability. So yeah, not such great news for the global water tracker. Folks, the top point of uncertainty in all climate models is in cloud formation enhancement and climate effect. Here they're trying to take a step in the right direction with discoveries of ice behavior within those clouds. Excellent paper up next, finding a way around the complexity of using particle forcing for the sun. Just jack up the irradiance by comparison and use the equations and models we already have. Now this is suboptimal because it adds more than what is in our energy budget, but in terms of the effect, it's clearly reorganizing atmospheric patterns to work the weather and climate. In the solar electromagnetic coupling realm, we've got a great one I want you to remember tonight as well. Not only is it another confirmation that the heliospheric current sheet powerfully works Earth's ionosphere, but we are reminded that a galactic current sheet delivers the same disruption to a sphere that is essentially one big ionosphere. Folks, this one is always hard for newcomers to grasp. Global shifts in temperature aren't equal everywhere, and sometimes they don't even have the same sign everywhere. During the Little Ice Age, it was actually hotter in parts of the Middle East than it is today. They were able to confirm it two different ways, and it furiously points back to the notion of non-homogeneous effect of Earth changes across the face of the world. Very interesting one up next about polar ice loss. They're saying it actually began to affect the tilt of the planet in the 1990s, the actual geographic pole position. Now whether or not they've got the right mechanism here with the lost ice, they certainly do here looking at the climate effect of losing that same ice, and now how many times are we going to see them say the same things in the journals, pointing towards the effects that will chill the planet in general, only the South Atlantic warms in this scenario. Folks, learn just about everything science knows about solar forcing of weather, climate, earthquakes, technological failures, and human health with our textbook, Weatherman's Guide to the Sun. We greatly appreciate your support. We hope you come back around dinner time in the East for tonight's special video, We've got wind maps and shots of our star to close. Subscribe and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.